Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Psalm 41, uh, verse 4. Psalm uh, 41 and verse 4. I said, have mercy on me, Lord, heal me, for I have sinned against you. Now, uh, David constantly pleaded the mercy of God, and we would all do well to plead the mercy of God. The extreme of mercy for the extreme of misery. Isn't that beautiful? For the extreme of misery, the extreme of God's mercy. You and I would do well to constantly plead God's mercy. And David prays, Lord, heal me. <laughs> Two of my favorite prayers in the Psalms are, Lord, help me, and Lord, heal me. And here, definitely, uh, it is related to sin issues in one's life, as the context uh, makes it out to be. Lord, heal my soul from its great distress, from the effects of sin and the tendency to sin. Isn't that a noble prayer to pray? that the Lord would heal our sin-sick soul. And then David uh, makes a confession. I have sinned against you. Now, it's very important to uh, look at that phrase. Uh, he didn't simply say, I have sinned. I mean, Saul said, I have sinned. Judas said, I have sinned. But what happened? Both of them committed suicide. So just simply saying, I have sinned, is not enough. So David uh, gives us the clue. I have sinned against you. So this is confession without excuse, without qualification, without superficiality. I have sinned against you. We remember the prodigal son when he returned to his dad. What did he say? I have sinned against you heaven and against you. All our sins are first against God. Yes, the sin may have been committed against some fellow human being, but first of all, it is committed against God. So God, I have sinned against you, has got to be the phrase that we use in our prayers. And verse 5, my enemies say of me in malice, when will he die? and his name perished. Oh, these enemies of David, they were multiple, and they are very malicious in their intent. They grieve David's spirit, and they want to ruin his reputation. Can you imagine this? They longed for David's death. <laughs> they are waiting for David to take his final breath. And uh, they are saying, we just want his name to rot. We want him to perish. Uh, the Bible says, the memory of the just is blessed. When you and I live a righteous life, um, our memory is going to live on, and it's going to bless uh, people. Now, David uh, did uh, eventually die. We know that. Uh, uh, and we are told in Acts 13, uh, uh, 36, 13, 36, that uh, David fell asleep after he served his uh, generation in the will of God. Yes, there comes a time when God is going to call us home, but uh, not before we have fulfilled God's purpose here on earth. David served his generation very faithfully. He wrote Psalms and uh, he was the sweet singer of Israel. He was involved in the Lord's battles. And he was a beloved king. And uh, David's name lives on. His enemies wanted his name to perish. But uh, his name lives on in the past 3,000 years of human history. And his name flourishes uh, to this day uh, in the sacred writings uh, of the Bible and also in the church. And today we name our boys David in great honor uh, of this uh, a great king. So David lived a productive life. Yes, we read of his exploits, but 
sadly, we also read of his sins. So David not, was not perfect. He was far from perfect. But David had a very tender conscience. And when God convicted him, he put matters right, faced the consequences, and continued to live for God. So may God uh, give you and me grace uh, to so live as uh, David lived uh, apart from his sin. Have a blessed, wonderful day today. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.